have won, have won their first up games here earlier on this morning. Fiji in the white on the left. Kenya near ready. Let's go to the Fijian starting lineup. Nail Basili, No Masidi, Waisiata, Nagas, Altina, and Ravisa will run onto the field. And for the Kenyan lineup, we've got Shajira, Mbogo, Ukulu, Remo, Okello, Masinde, and Philadelphia Orlando, the captain. She's been a shining star for this Kenyan side. What a matchup we've got here. Two strong teams. Fiji, Kenya fighting to the finish, fighting for fifth place. There's a lot of pride in this match. Oh, most definitely. Not to hold your head up about coming fifth. No doubt about that. Rebecca Moroni in charge of this one, the New Zealander. Fiji going to get us underway. Last game for both of these sides here on the Gold Coast in 2018 of the Commonwealth Games. Then we're off. Nice and high. All confusion at the kickoff from Kenya, but able to hold that ball in. Lack of communication of turn awkwardly too. Unfortunately there for Fiji. Thought it was going to be a turnover. Tap is gone. Looping around like they like to do Kenya. Now Orlando. Pass it out, creates the space, but it's going to be coming across. There's Naimasi. Good defense. Very nice defense there from Naimasi. They'll take a quick line out. No, they'll set it up. Strong shoulder on contact to drag her into touch. Kenya just needed to get a fend on there, but the strength was too good. They've been very organized in that department, has this Fijian team in defense. One on one tackle made, so line out is there from Ravisa. Gets the return ball off the top. Along the chain, onto the outside. Great upper body strength here, Sean. But seven back, seven back. On to side to side. Okello well, been very good, I've noticed. Putting pressure on the base of his scrums. Here's a bit of a hold now for Tinai. Tinai doesn't use the side step on this occasion. He goes straight ahead and engages the sweeper. There's the turnover. Gee, some heavy shots being put on, that's for sure, from both of these teams. The result, though, for Kenya. They come in. Does the defence of Fiji, so they've taken out the options. Look at the numbers in and around the ball. Okello's well, been put down. Yeah, and just technicality at the breakdown. Masinde. Not carrying her body weight. Pushed out of the way as the Kenyan player. And the end result's going to be a try for Fiji for some nice footwork shown by Nail Basali. But all the hard work done in defence. That's right. That try came off the back of a good defensive set. They flooded the space of the Kenyans, gave them no option, shut it down, got the ball back at the rack. Great technique. And Naya Basali, she just backs herself, runs with so much confidence. Big smile on the face. Left hand fend, and she's over for five points. Yeah, you know, that's when they're in the mood, when they've got the smiles going <laughs> and enjoying it. It's when they play their best, when they're most relaxed. They do. They're a real confidence based team, the Fijians. When they're on the front foot and they've got all the momentum to support them, they start playing really good football. Conversion's good and quick kickoff too. So speeding up the play are the Fijians caught. Kenya on the back foot, the dummy again, and the nice off road as well. As good as you'll see on a rugby sevens pitched. Heads up play. Nice skills. And a good score for Duravisa. Right off the back of a kickoff. I told you, they've got so much confidence. And when they've got momentum, this is what happens. A beautiful little offload out the back to Ravisa. As we see, they regathered. Nicely done. And Ravisa with the first touch. Backs are up in support. Nice little flick pass out the back. And the double touch gets Ravisa over the line. That's great support. And what the Fijians do best. Conversion right in front and easy as you please. So two quick tries for Fiji. Another awkward kickoff. Is it a knock on? Yes, it is. The experience they're gaining in these situations, this Fijiana team is going to huge, uh, prove huge going down after this tournament, isn't it, Tiana? That's right. And for both teams too, Kenya don't have the experience that Fiji do on an international stage. They'll take a lot out of this and they've got a lot to work on going home. That's all for the greater good.
and growing the game. I like that for the greater good, no doubt about that. A lot of chat going on. Between those two forward packs. Kenya wanted a bit of big push, but immovable. Oh, this Fiji and Scrum, great platform to launch off. Tinai's been integral to their attacking play. Tinai, footwork pre-line, decides to jam it back out. The state in support to stop him for they engage to the fence until that pass here for Nagasau. And I think the physicality of the Fijians really taking its toll. What you doing, Nile Basali? What's doing there? Time off. They look over to your coach, I can guarantee you that. You happy we check that one? What she needed to do was put it down. I know what she was trying to achieve to get it over the top for an easy conversion, but in these yeah, situations. Try, no try, please. This is Niall Bosali, switches the ball over. She's over the trial line now. Batted back from Kenya in their own end goal. Did she get it down and regather? Yes. I'll take it back. She got there, just went around the horn a little bit in the wrong way. <laughs> she made an absolute meal out of that one, <laughs> Nova Sally. Back to when you're in shot, you may award the try. Thank you. That's a lucky save. <laughs> Very lucky there. She had the right idea. I get, Like you said, I get where she was coming from, trying to get the easy points, but you'd rather five points over two right now. <laughs> I like it. Look, though, she's like, and what? The stroll's on back to the halfway. Never in doubt. Long by this first five minutes in this game, though, Fijiana. And all the points, all the momentum, and all the street smarts here. Didn't that ball bounce, Kenya? Did that drift a little bit forward? Yes, just can't get it going at the moment just because of the pure pressure from the Fijian defence. Yeah, and they're playing straight into the hands of the Fijian defence as well. The one opportunity they get possession, all they had to do was really just carry it into contact, reset, keep their composure. But they're trying to score off the bat. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? You can't always score off the first phase. You have to be patient. You're attacking set, and I think that's something you spoke about that they will gain through experience. Philadelphia Orlando with the green head cap. She's been the best for Kenya by far, along with Janet Orkello, who's at the base of the scrum at halfback. They're going to go to the blind side. Ravisa dumps it back out. Orlando, look at the strength there by the number 12 for. Kenya gets back up. Leave it, leave it. Oof, Five, Ruth. Advantage over. Advantage is over now for Fiji. So Nagasau gets it on to Tinai. has been good this one. Lavinia Tinai, she's been unstoppable. In fact, look at the numbers in and around there. Five, in fact, that's a high shot. So it's going to be a penalty, but can they take the five points? Little juggle from Riwai. They go back to Tinai, who's just got back off her feet. Nagasau, easy as you please. No one in defence on the right-hand side in the right position. Just a little talking to here from Kenya as well. You can see Kenya in defence are starting to get really tired. There's slight cracks in their defensive line starting to open up. That space just opened up behind the rock. And the vision from Nagasau. You have time. Here, just behind the ruck, the vision from Nagasau to just take that space. No one was in there behind to, to protect the ruck from Kenya. Yeah, powerful woman, Nagasau. Conversion handy and successful. Kenya actually got the yellow card from their high shot. So they're going to be down to six women. Until the second half here, Kenya. So Fiji. Well in control of this one. Kickoffs have been very good. Into the sun. Take it nicely though. There's the Huda. Must send it. It's kind of ruck, but they come through off their feet, dude. Kenya. Entry was not behind from the side. Defense is on its heel. There's a lot of space for the Fijians to attack from. Nagasau, the latest try score. The dummies on the outside. Very strong player. Doesn't take the handle. Slow end to a very good half day for this Fijiana team. And this placing for fifth and sixth is Fiji with a commanding lean. 26 points to nil.
tackle Tiana Penatani. It's been all Fiji for the first half of this one, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been real Fiji dominant, but all you can ask from the Kenya side is just to empty the tank, give it all they've got. They've got seven minutes to play here and they'll walk away happy, but some brilliant highlights here from Fijiana. Lovely little flick pass out to Ravisa there. And a nice little one-step pass out to the wing from Nagasau. She was so lucky to get away with that. Just adding the finishing touches there before halftime. Yeah, Kenyan coach Sam Komoto was very animated in his halftime talk. Nagasau, the back end of their first seven minutes, was very good. Heavily involved in number seven, get a lot of minutes on day three for the woman. Their competition started on Friday, had to play yesterday, and obviously today as well. So it's been a tough ask for these two teams. Last seven minutes for both of these sides, Kenya and Fiji. Kenya, get us underway through. Now, Teno. Now, Fiji again finding a lot of space on the outside. Fatigue level starting to set in for Kenya there. And in a way, by Nail Basali, a little knock on forward there. It's a good defence from Kenya. Sorry. Two knock ons. First one wide. Nice passive defence there from Kenya to shape out wide, push, the, push Fiji to the edge, as we can see from the vision. A great effort from Okello. That forced the error, and now Kenya will feed the scrum. This is a good opportunity for them to just hold on to the ball, work their way up the field, and earn the right to cross the line. Yeah, next break and play, they'll be up to their full complement too. Kenya have got a yellow card for a high shot in the first half, so Chajera, jersey number three for Kenya, is the one sitting on the sideline. Oh, Kelo, the halfback who made that nice tackle just moments ago, who's putting into the scrum, has been near their best behind the captain, Orlando, screwing the scrum. No need to take it quickly here. They can bring their player on. They decide to go quickly. Yep, absolutely. Oh, no, the first mistake, I'd have to say, and that's play on for Fiji. Everyone stopped on the side of Kenya, and it's going to be a score from Riwai. The one who reacted quickest gets the five points to her name. bit unusual everyone just stopped I think the knock on they thought the Kenyans the referee was going to blow it but no yeah and that's where teams can get caught here unless the ref bows the whistle it's play on from there just puts it on the toe Rewai does and a beautiful put down just before the dead ball line what does your coach say always play to the whistle this is what you learn from five years old yeah, it's just basic <laughs> skills isn't it but they're hanging on their feet out there Kenya it's hot I'll give them that. It is very hot out there. They're cooked. It's the last game of their weekend. Yeah, they have represented their country very well, this Kenyan women's team. And so are Fijiana. The commanding lead at 33 points to now, and they're not done either. Little knock on from Fiji and Ravisa. We'll give a little bit of respite here for the Kenyans. There's a bit of air guitar. Saw Tiana Pinatani doing that last night. <laughs> Time off. Substitution read. Here we go. Fresh legs on for the Kenyan side. Maybe she's got a bit of magic, something to inject. It's what they need. Yeah. Time's off. Now they had a strong yeah, scrum ladies. in the very the same side. position. Right, Only Time moments off. earlier, knock on by the captain who's going to come to the sideline. Philadelphia, Orlando. Best names in the competition, too. She's lived up to the height. Delphi Orlando, she's been huge. Well, Kumu in jersey number 13 with the ponytails is going to come on and feed the scrum for the Kenyans. Big scrum from Fiji under pressure, but gobbled up nicely. And a bit of space here on the side. She's not going to be stopped. Just Okulu. And this is what you want. The chase is going to come from Fiji. But I'm glad they got this. They deserve it, as you said here, Tiana. They did. They've been working for each other in defence. They've been on the back foot the whole time in this game. They've barely had possession. Every time they've had it, they've given it away. But the 20-year-old, Okulu, she gets over for Kenya. That's something to be proud of. 
a reward for their hard work and the efforts that they've put in so far in this game. Like you say, three long days for them to be able to run 80 metres like this at this time of the day in the tournament. That's tough. Yeah, and it takes a lot of heart to do so as well. So all credit to the Kenyan side for injecting that kind of energy in the last minutes of this game. Oh, Kalu there. Conversion no good. Try was sweet. She's going to get us restarted again. Taking her time. Awkward we'll kick off there from Okolu. And Gato is onto the field for VG. Very lanky. A new makeup. Opportunity here for coach Tani Vula to use all his squad in this last game. Soliko Viti is on also. To Solo. He hasn't had much game time over the course of this weekend. He's finally on the field. Get a new taste of Commonwealth Games Rugby Sevens. Good pass in the middle. Not tonight, Gato. Spreading the ball to stop and go. That's nice from Niall Basali. In and away as well. A strong thing, but again, great defense one on one. Well done from Akumu. Akumu, she's only 19 years old, this young one. And that's a brilliant effort. That's gutsy. Fiji was almost in for another five points. She's disappointed with that one. She needed to transfer the ball back into the left hand to get the fend away. I think that was a great shot. Just showing if you're able to use the proper technique, the smaller player can take out the bigger one. Nail Basali went on the outside, tried to back her skills, which I like. But equally good sweeping from Okumu, who's going to throw this ball into the line out. Little deception in the midfield, in the Nevada's middle of that straight. line out by Gato. They pressure ball Lady's back. The throw wasn't straight in the line out. This will give Fiji a scrum yeah. feed. What can they do? They've got a lot of new players onto it's the fine. field. They'll be wanting to have a go too. Fine. So Liko Viti showing a bit of edge just before. I'm sure she'll be wanting the ball. Nice dummy. She seems to always have a lot of time, but Avisa, as he drops off the late pass to Tisolo. Good defense underneath though, but she's going to get the return pass. There's Ravisa and get her second score. The little halfback for Fiji. That came from the early movement off the back of that scrum. Like you said, Fiji, they give them so much, they give themselves so much time to play. Getting nice and deep, a beautiful late switch under there. And as she went to ground, she looked for support. There was the pop, and that's exactly the style of play that Fiji are so good at. The secret to the angle of the run, Tiana, and then the offload. Yeah, it was that switch that really caught the Kenyan defender. She, she came nice and late, gave her enough room, was nice and deep, and cut straight through that hole. Yeah, absolutely slice through. Nice take from the kickoff there from a kill off for Kenya. Trying to counteract Fiji. They'll reset their defense. They come up nice and quickly. Good line speed. So it forces the Kenyan attack back in or 10 not. Good run. Again, just one out. Rugby sevens. There's the turnover from the strong defense from Fiji. 21 seconds to go on the foot. No advantage as yet. Advantage over. Advantage is over now. A little wiggle from Nathuru. But a lazy end to that one. Unfortunate because the Ivana was just caught just over when she knocked that on for Fiji. All she had to do was hold on to it. All right, one more play in this one. And these two teams, Commonwealth Games in 2018, will be done. Kumu there. Just telling her, playmaker, to just go directly behind the scrum to make it easier for her to get that ball out. She does so. Into space. With... Oh, Kelo's going to go on the outside. She's showing her guess. Good angle taken, though, by Naimasi. Holds on. And is that a turnout? That's great work in defense from Naimasi. They're going to tap and go here. I'm back to 10, but you know what? We'll just kick it out. 